this time of year, the biggest question I get is, can I tap yet? Is it time to tap? That's impossible for me to answer unless I know everything about your weather and where you live. <laughs> um, but I can tell you this, it is not time yet here in New England. I actually have not looked at the extended forecast to know exactly how many more days until we tap. But I can tell you what you look for. You want to see the temperature at least 40 degrees in the day and it has to be below freezing at night to create that pressure in the tree to cause the sap to flow. So if you have that and if you have it for multiple days at a time, it might be time to tap. Unfortunately, that's not all you need to know though because if that happens early in the season, which it happened this year in, in New England in January, you can get a few days like that even in January, even in the Maple Belt, and people get really eager and anxious and they start tapping. I can say from experience, this is what happens because it's what happened to us a couple years ago. And we learned the hard way. All of the trees that we tapped early did not produce hardly any for us that season. We had maybe two days of sap run, maybe. I think it was a dozen trees that we tapped in January. And then, the temperature changed and it wasn't the right conditions again until March. So the tree that had been wounded with our taps started to heal over. Believe it or not, it's crazy. A maple tree can heal over in as little as six weeks. It starts to heal the wound that you put in it, which is fantastic because it heals itself. You're not hurting it by tapping it, but you really shouldn't tap a tree twice in one year for a whole lot of reasons. So once you've already put that tap in, you've kind of wasted it if you're only going to get a couple days worth of sap flow. So be patient, watch your extended forecast and make sure it's going to be pretty continuous of at least 40 degrees at the high point in the day and below freezing at night. If you have those conditions, then go for it. Another thing to keep in mind because some years it's not a great tapping year and you don't have a lot of time that you have those perfect conditions. So keep in mind that you're really only gonna get a good flow from the tree for about six weeks. So count out when your season would typically end. If it's six weeks before that, and you don't have ideal tapping conditions, go ahead and go for it because you really have nothing to lose at that point. So I hope that helps and I hope you're having a fantastic day in your neck of the woods.